Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. I hope everyone is having a beautiful day today, and I hope that you guys are excited because today's video, we are going to be getting into the new e.l.f. kits, their holiday kits that they launched over on their website. And this is actually a video that I, I was on their website perusing because coming up on the channel probably next week, you guys are going to see, you know, full face, new e.l.f., you know, just a spoiler alert. Um, we're really going to be diving into like their new putty blushes, their new brightening concealers, and that sort of stuff. And wh while I was on there, you know, kind of filling up my cart with that, I noticed that they launched all of these these holiday kits and I kind of thought to myself like why not dive in and just do like a full-on elf holiday haul and see holiday haul <laughs> did I just say that weird yes um but I thought it would be really fun for today to kind of kick off the season because this like I said this is something I do every year um where I go through and I test out all price points with holiday kits holiday collections and I like to just talk about it with you guys go through again the price point is it a good value you know is the quality good because I feel like in a lot of years and obviously we'll get into this one specifically um but I I feel like a lot of times with brands and whatnot, you see, you know, kind of manipulation of formula because the price point's a lot cheaper than the makeup becomes cheaper. And I thought it would be interesting just to kind of kick that part of the season off with e.l.f. because obviously their stuff is already super affordable. A lot of their formulas are really, really good. And I just thought it would be interesting to sit down, do this, have kind of a lighthearted, fun take on it. Um, and then from here, obviously, you guys can let me know down below in the comments if you are excited or if you want to see the other ones that I have planned. You know, I, I, like I said, I like to pick up um, everything drugstore, high-end, everything in between. So let me know down in the comments if that is something you are excited for, uh, because I <laughs> I definitely am. But before we get going too far into this video, yes, these are all the holiday kits. Hello, <laughs> thumbnail. Um, let's go ahead and uh, just kind of introduce myself briefly. I like to do that at the start of every video, um, just for those of you that might be new here. So hello, my name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. Again, welcome to the channel. I do upload three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. They go up right around 7, 7.30-ish a.m. my time here in good old Northern Michigan. So if you like early morning uploads, uh, I'm your girl. Okay. So, so stick tight again, subscribe, turn on your post or your post notifications, your bell, hit the bell, whatever you guys know the drill, hit it down below. And then of course, for those of you that don't know, or maybe you haven't done so yet, I would greatly appreciate it. If you would take a second, uh, go down in the description box and follow me over on Instagram because I'm trying to hit 10,000 followers on that platform. And uh, I've really been putting a lot of work into it. I do everything from makeup, makeup application, makeup, IGTVs, makeup reels, uh, makeup inspo photos, plus size fashion, regular photography stuff. And all of that is just in the feed, which I typically update uh, pretty regularly. I like to do it about five to seven times a week, you know, posting as close to every day as I can. And then also in the Insta stories, which is like the 24 hour portion, that is where I hang out with you guys the most. I love to be there. We do unboxings. We take walks together, walk the dog. We do random polls and questions and really just anything I need to know. I, I ask you guys over on Instagram um, in, the, in the Insta stories, or like I said, in a feed post or something like that. So be sure to follow me again if you want the behind the scenes if you like me like my style but you just love to see more than three days a week I highly encourage you to check out Instagram which again everything will be linked down below and from there let's go ahead let's uh, zoom the camera in just a just a skosh and let's get started all right you guys so the first thing we're gonna talk about is how I picked up this kit which is actually their elf retro paradise lifestyle kit and I picked this up despite the fact it is not uh, not not anywhere close to being <laughs> a holiday collection kit uh, but I had to pick it up because it had these scrunchies in it and I freaking love scrunchies okay again if you haven't been following me on Instagram bitch I buy all the scrunchies like I need every single one I can find and it came with these two beautiful I love orange and purple together as it is um and so I thought you know we would just pick up this kit it does also come with stickers it comes with a hydrating coconut mist and a um it looks like a clear sparkly gloss situation and obviously um the, the rest of the kit isn't super relevant to right now as I have no makeup on my face but I thought we could you know just really quick use the scrunchies to put my hair back because I didn't feel like curling it as of yet like I still need to style it and having it down and like this flat in my face for this whole video is not gonna work for me so I'm just gonna I'm gonna put my hair up hi guys what do you think <laughs> do you like my hair do you like my little space buns um I, I really just I didn't want to have to pick a color I like purple I like orange and I really like these scrunchies they're very very soft so I figured uh, you know while we're filming I would just put my hair up in these uh, g given that they match absolutely nothing definitely not my sweater um quite quite literally nothing matches on me today. I don't know what I don't know what's going on, but you know what? That's okay. We're here. We're testing holiday kits. I'm feeling it. And I've got a nice uh, fuzzy old letter. What? 
old letterman sweater no old lady sweater and i actually got this where did i get this rosy days actually uh casey holmes boutique if you haven't uh checked it out i'll leave it linked down below i don't know if this sweater is still on there but uh yeah i picked this up from there and it's super duper cute it is more of a cropped style but it's really adorable and i love how big these sleeves are like, do you see this they look like a freaking afghan i just love it so much anyways now that we're good and adjusted let's go ahead here and get into our first kit this is the elf holiday favorites beauty box and it has in it their poreless face primer their makeup mist and set a waterproof eyeliner a little eyeshadow duo and a sponge and all of this retails well, i don't i don't know what it retails for some of them have like a, a price on them some of them don't but everything of course will be linked down below i'll make sure all the kits everything i can find it, again it'll be in the description box if you want to check it out but i picked up this kit because i really liked that it had so many different options excuse hello guys oh my god in heaven <laughs> very tough. Anyways, here's the full kit in its entirety, just in case you wanted to see it, you know, actually through the plastic piece here. And we are going to start off in this kit with the primer. Excuse me, thank you. And like I said before, this is the poreless face primer. And this one is just a liquid. It does come with a little pump right here. And it's kind of the like dimethicone silicone one. Very, very slippy. But it's supposed to, again, lightly fill in your pores and give you a nice smooth canvas. And anytime I work with a primer like this, I like to kind of massage it into my pores to really fill them from all angles. All right, you guys, so I'm starting to think that somebody's messing with me somewhere because I, like prior to this video, I was like, yes, I'm gonna be prepared. I'm gonna be ready. And I actually broke in to this little kit right here. This is the Sweet Little Treats uh, kit. It retails for $10. You get three beauty tools and it comes with a pair of tweezers, an eyelash curler, and a sponge. And I actually, again, trying to be prepared, trying to be like an adult about the situation, <laughs> look at me. Um, but uh, to be ready, I took this freaking sponge out and I wet it and I would have sworn that I put it right here in front of me. And do you think now that I can find said sponge, like where did it go? I don't know. So I'm going to um, go back and see if I left it by the sink because maybe I did. Um, but I really, I really thought I had my shit together better than this. So I'm going to, I'm going to go look. <sighs> makes me so mad because I know like I know well I don't really know I shouldn't say, I shouldn't say that because if it's not here did I really know probably not all right you guys so I'm back I did in fact find the little sponge here she is and it was sitting next to the sink so fun fact I mean at least, at least it wasn't rolling around on the floor which makes me feel a little bit better because oh honey you best believe that's happened before which by the way I don't think I've ever used this sponge but my goodness gracious she feels so nice it's such a high-end like light airy like with poofy marshmallowy kind of feel it's just very 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 nice is where i'm going with this and it feels so soft um but let's go ahead and moving into a foundation and concealer i did decide that for this video i wanted to use the elf hydrating camo concealer because this is a really really nice concealer beautiful full coverage and this is in the shade fair warm and i think i'm gonna pair this maybe with you know oh you know what would actually be really pretty that paired with my <laughs> with my my one of my loves my all-time favorites and that would be the uh Katrina HD liquid full coverage and this is actually going to be in the shade uh, the new shade that I just got which I talked about in I think it was Friday was my favorites video I can link it up here but this is in the shade 002 porcelain beige and if need be I might mix in a little bit of this one this is the 010 light beige uh, that's that's my normal shade that I get from Ulta and I think the combo of these three things is going to be my base let me just let me just double check the kits here um, and see what else we have oh actually wait a second oh pause guys I can't believe I almost didn't notice this. Um, I could actually go in before I do that and smooth even a little bit extra in this area. I could add a little bit of their poreless putty primer. This is their universal one, the first one they came out with. And this is a part of their Best of Elf kit. And this has their lip plumping gloss, their total face and body sponge, their jelly highlighter, which I've actually never tried. And again, the poreless putty primer. Let's do that. Ooh. All right, so here is a fresh little poreless putty primer. And this one I have tried before. Sorry, there's like a cat hair as always on my face and I can't, <laughs> I can't function. But uh, this is a primer I have used before. I've used it several times. Ooh, this is going to be satisfying. Look at it. It's open or it's never been open, never been touched. And I'm just going to get in there. <sighs> I kind of want to use like my finger just so I can get like that. You know how when you open a peanut butter and you just want to... Like you just want to slide right through that freshly opened peanut butter. That's kind of the feel that I'm having right now. <sighs> okay, just like join me in it as we both just, oh yeah, oh. Oh, that is a satisfying little ripple on my nail. This is a primer I've used before. A lot of people dupe this out for the Tatcha uh, Silk Canvas, their original 
one right here, which I do love. I use this a lot. And I, I will say, like, in my opinion, I don't think that they are a dupe for each other. I think that for me, this one does work better. It's a little bit more thick, a little more robust, and it holds up better in my pores. But I do think um, that just, I mean, as a primer goes, um, it, it is a really, really nice primer. And actually, while I'm talking, why don't I put the other products on? Good idea, Paige. But I always like to tell people that as far as that e.l.f. poreless putty thing goes, um, even if, for me, they're not exactly the same, you know, that one to the Tatcha one, I still think it's a really, really beautiful product. And even if, you know, maybe you don't want to spend the money on Tatcha, you're, you know, you just don't want to go that route, I think it is a really, really awesome way to test out that type of primer, test out that consistency, and see if it works for you. Like, just to see, you know, overall, will it, will it be something that works on your skin? Now I'm just blending out some of that e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. All right, so really quick, before I set the face, I want to play with uh, this e.l.f., what is this? Their Jelly Highlighter in the shade Bubbly. And this one was really intriguing to me, because like I said, I've never tried the formula. Well, girl, she, she is wiggly and jiggly. Uh, but I thought we would give it a try before I go in with powder, just to make sure that nothing gets like weird or bunched up. Ooh, that's really beautiful. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this on my finger right here and go in. Oh, wow. Okay, that, that says a lot. A little bit, little bit goes a long way. Let's like maybe spread that love a little. Um, the consistency of this is like surprisingly thin. Wow. All right, so I'm having a little bit of a situation. Um, I like the glow. I like the way that it looks. I feel like once you get it nice and worked into the skin, it does settle out to be more of just kind of, kind of a, a nice lit from within glow. As you can see, it's not like super intense. It doesn't really sit on the surface and give you this blinding of a highlight. But I am noticing that on this side, it is kind of moving my foundation, my concealer right in this area. It's kind of bunching that up a little and I'm not really sure what's causing that, but yeah, it completely like moved it, stripped it right out of the way. I think I'm going to try to fix this. I'm just going to take a little bit of the concealer and basically re-blend out this area and I'm just going to pat a little bit of it on both sides right there and then kind of blend it upwards because I don't want to lose the glow that we just added from it, but I do want to try to even out like this area because it did strip away a little coverage. And then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and set the uh, the under eyes through the T-zone. And for that, I'm just gonna take my Maybelline Fit Me. This is in 05 Fair. I'm just pressing out the under eyes, making sure they are nice. And then going in with some of this. Okay, so now we have to set the face and then I promise we're gonna get actually, you know, back in back into these e.l.f. kits, which is obviously the reason we're all here. So let's go ahead and set everything down. This is the It Cosmetics uh, Celebration Foundation Illumination Press Powder and this is in the shade Light. I'm just gonna take and get everything good and swiggled on here because I gotta get it all settled in for the rest of the products. Where did that accent just come from? I gotta get it all settled in. Dialed in, settled in. Wrangling my hogs in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can say that because I'm from Northern Michigan. All right, guys, so at this point, I have my base uh, good and set down. It is so dark outside, and I need to put on, like, some bronzer, some blush, and I, wow, you can actually still see some of that glow coming through. Do you see that? It's just a little bit, a little subtle, but it's there. It actually looks really pretty. Moral of the story here, I need to add some bronzer and some blush real bad because I am super pasty, and I look like one of those little orbs that's, like, boom, floating around in a photo, just like, doo 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 because uh, it's so dark in here, and then there's just, poof, my little white-ass pasty face, and we're going to fix that with uh, this right here, which is their Candied Cheeks Palette, and this, it says up here, retails for $10, and in it, you have two highlighters, two bronzers, two shimmer blushes, and two matte blushes, again, all for $10, and I don't know, well, technically, I don't know if this would count as a holiday kit. I bought it as a holiday kit because um, it, it was in this pretty packaging. All right, so getting into this palette, these are the two highlight shades we have right here. On my finger, I definitely think, well, maybe, maybe I could make the golden one work. It's right here. I don't know, though. That, that's going to be a toss-up. And then we also have, it looks like, two matte blushes here and here. We have a bronzer, two, I think these are the two bronzers, and then a shimmer blush right down here. And I think for me, to start going in with bronzer, we're going to take... Eh, you know what? Maybe maybe we'll do a combo because this one's a little bit too cool tone and this one's like very, very, very warm, like pumpkin spice warm. Um, and I'm a little, I'm just a little intimidated. So let's grab my uh, my trusty bronzer brush here. She looks busted and crusted, but she's my favorite. Okay, so really quick, I decided it would be a good idea to actually swatch them and look at the colors. And I think I'm gonna go in with this lighter one because it's the more like slightly cool toned, uh, this guy right here, but I'm, ew, that one just makes me a little bit hesitant. So I'm gonna take this one right here, just lightly dip in 
with my busty little brush. All right, so let's go ahead and let's just get started lightly over here. And you know what? Actually, I lied. I am going to dip in between both of those shades just because I do like the warmth that you get from the other one. But on my skin tone to go in with uh, just that shade alone, which is this one right here, it would be like very, very orange, very abrupt on me. So I think mixing those two is actually going to be pretty good. Oh yeah, that's actually not bad. These are very, very soft too. Like as far as the texture goes, they feel very nice. Okay, so I have the bronzer on and it actually looks pretty good. In this lighting, it looks a little bit rough because the uh, the shadows are hitting, you know, really harshly because it is dark out. But I actually really like the way that it applied. It looks nice. And I think once I get some blush on there, I think it'll actually look really beautiful. I think for that, I'm just going to grab this one right here. Oh, wow. She's got payoff, y'all. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to, we're gonna have to work that in. Um, I'm very lightly gonna pull the, uh, the excess kind of towards this little apple on my cheek. And I think just to go over top of it and uh, soften it ever so gently, because I took the excess and kind of ran it on the face, like up on the temples, but I do want to just lightly tap over top of this because it does look a little bit intense. Um, so I'm just taking that other powder brush that I used with the uh, foundation to set my whole face. I'm just lightly tapping that over just to kind of, you know, lessen the intensity. Oh God, that actually looks really pretty. That is really, and you can still see like a glow coming through, even though that was a matte blush. Guys, that's actually really, really pretty. Whoops, <clears throat> my bad. Okay, how did I lose a whole kit? <laughs> a whole kit and caboodle, but for, for real, where did it go? Okay, so I found it. I was looking for this kit, the one that had the scrunchies in it, because I want to try the e.l.f. Hydrating Coconut Mist um, with this combination, because my skin is starting to look a little bit dry. And so I wanted to take a little bit of this. It says, hydrates the skin, refreshes the makeup with hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. Ooh, that's a good spray. It does smell coconutty. Okay, I'm not mad at it. It's not overwhelming. Let's just take a little bit. Oh, that's actually quite refreshing. Okay, <laughs> tropical moment. Okay, what's going on? It's definitely not almost snowing outside. Yes, it is. Just kidding. Who are we? And with that on, I'm just buffing in some of the highlight out of the palette. Oh, that's actually really pretty. I can definitely see when I turn my head that there is a slight cast, so I probably would have to go over top of it um, with a slightly lighter highlight, but you know, that's actually really, really pretty in terms of the glow that it gives. The only thing I will say is that if you're gonna play around with this one, especially, you know, if you have texture in this area, definitely be mindful because it is a thicker, more chunky, chalky kind of highlight. Um, it, it, I don't think, in my opinion, it's the best one that e.l.f. makes by a long shot. Um, I, I wish that in this palette they would have included like more of a baked formula because those tend to be, especially from them, a little bit softer, a lot smoother. And this one is just coming off very chunky right up here. But uh, if you don't have a lot of texture or, you know, or if you don't care, maybe you don't build it up like I do, then I don't think that would be a problem. But just something to keep in mind because it does have, you know, more of that like heaviness on the skin. Like I can definitely see right through here that I'm, I'm like wearing the texture of a highlight, if that makes sense. Oh, you know, it would actually look really pretty. <gasps> I just had an idea. You guys, what if I took, I, I, my ideas just really shocked me, I guess. Uh, but I'm going to take that same brush and I want to dip into a little bit of this more corally. It's almost like a coral orange. I don't think it's showing up that way on camera, but I want to take just a touch of that on my same blush brush here and use that to very, very gently, like go right over top of the apples of my cheeks just to blend in that highlight, but lend it back a little bit over the cheek. And just ever so gently, I actually think that that's really, really pretty. All right, so I don't have anything in the brow category that came in a kit, so I'm just gonna take these two uh, items here. This is the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara, and uh, this is in the shade O2 Brownie Brows, and I'm gonna take that first, fluff it through, and then take some of the Milani Weekend Brow Eyebrow Tint, and this is in the shade 130 Medium Brows, and I'm just gonna use these to give me more of a light, fluffy, kind of fluffed up brow. All right, you guys, so I am back, obviously, the brows are done and we are going to get into I'm sorry I can't take myself seriously I just noticed that I still had these in and I don't, I don't know why but it just struck me struck me some kind of good anyways let's get into the eyes and for that I, <laughs> I have the things I do on the internet but this is another kit of course from elf and this is their a sight for sweet eyes set and it comes with three eyeshadow duos and the eyeshadow brush and it literally says the eyeshadow brush I don't know which one but it's just the eyeshadow like it is the brush to end all eyeshadow brushes and uh, like I said it comes with three individual eyeshadow duos which I am pumped to try those 
those, of course, and it says up here that uh, this four-piece set retails for $10, but then I also have another set some, somewhere, um, and she is, hold on, I will find her, I will find you, and I will get you. All right, so I found the kit. It was this one, the, the one that we used, that original poreless primer, which let me just, let me just pop her back in there for aesthetics, uh, but it was this kit right here, and it has another little duo in it as well, so I thought we would kind of look at all of them uh, and just kind of, you know, take a full, well-rounded picture as to what we're working with here, and maybe swatch them all, because I've actually never used these from e.l.f. It's just a little twist off. I don't know why that was so hard, um, but it's just a little twist off Wickamabobber right here, and Wickamabobber, by the way, is a very technical term. Ooh, those actually feel quite nice. Okay, let's swatch. Oh, holy creamy. Those are one swipe. <laughs> holy bejesus creamy. But those are one freaking swipe. Look at how pretty. I actually... Wow, I quite like this, like, rustic-y, red, pinky situation. Like, what are you? Hello, I wasn't expecting it. Um, okay, so there is that one. There's the other kit. I just took it out of its uh, little wrapper there. And how cute are these little guys? They, they, they look like them little twist-up candies. I just think those are so cute. Oh, I love packaging, guys. I'm packaging queen. And I love them so much. Okay, so let's go ahead and swatch these. Oh, that is so beautiful. It's such a dark color, too. <gasps> Ooh, I like her so much. I love that I show it to the camera twice. Oh. <gasps> Holy crap, guys, these feel fantastic. Oh my God, one swipe again. And look at how deep and beautiful and such. What? I was gonna, I was trying to say sexy and sultry all at once and it came out. <laughs> But that's fine. Um, but yeah, look at how beautiful. Okay, one swipe there as well. Wow, wow. Okay, those feel freaking amazing. I am so far like, okay, we are, we're two for two out of these. It looks like the other two shades in here are lighter. That's like the darkest one out of the trio. This one is, what is this? More of like a taupey, pinky kind of undertone. Anyway, each one of these, I, I'm sure you can tell by now, but each one of the ones in this kit have a matte and a shimmer. But the first one from the other kit, the first one I swatched is two shimmers. Uh, so, you know, just keep that in mind, you know, if that matters to you while you're shopping. Oh, wow, these feel nice too. Oh my God. Oh my God. You and me, we have a date, sir. I would put that on my face. Like, how pretty would that be? It's like a highlight right there. <gasps> kind of gorgeous. Okay, let's do one swipe. Oh my God, butter. <laughs> butter, 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 and then some. Look. <gasps> oh my God. I'm blown. I'm. I am actually speechless at how beautiful these are. Like the consistency is outrageous to me. Oh, this one's pretty. It has like a brown and then the shimmer is more of like a burgundy pink. Damn, that's beautiful. Oh my word. Look at that freak. I did not expect these to be this good. Like, look at the choices. Oh my God, that freaking red one right there, the one that I just swatched, that red shimmer, that is stunning. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead first actually and prime my lids because obviously that's what I need to do. So I'm just gonna take some of my Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer here. Just a little, little schmigiggle on each side. Schmigiggle, okay. All right, now with that on, I'm just pulling up really quickly here this brush and it's more of like a flat packer style. So what I'll probably do is save this for the shimmer that I go in like all over the lid with. And we'll start off first with, I think this lighter shade right here, this lighter matte. And I will put that one through the crease. That is in the version, oh, it doesn't, doesn't say, um, but it's going to be this one, the, the lighter one out of the three. I'm just going to take and run that through the crease with the Fenty Beauty. This is their 210 blending brush. It's just a nice little fluffy fella. And I'm just going to take that and lightly blend it through. Wow. Wow. Okay. That is some, some straight color we got going on here. Okay, Elf, I see you. So that shade is on and applied. Very, very versatile. You can build it up or sheer it out, um, you know, depending on how much depth you want to build. But that one by itself performed beautifully. And I think from there, I actually want to take a little bit of the next brown. Eh, actually, no, I think we want, I want to go with the last one that I swatched, which is this one. And I'm going to take just on the same brush there. Holy wow, that's rich. Um, and I'm going to take and just ever so gently deepen up the inner, oh my God, uh, the inner and the outer. Wow, I can't believe that these three are $10. Like I'm actually, I'm freaking, I'm, I'm blown away. Also, I'm just throwing a little bit of that on the lower lash line as well, just a little bit mainly concentrating it at the outer V. So next up, I just went in with a little bit here of the NYX Glitter Glue. I use this every day, you guys know it. And it's, it's kind of my secret weapon, not only for longevity of shadows, because I have super oily eyelids, but it's also really, really good at helping to prevent like the fallout and stuff. And it's so affordable. This one from NYX is like, I think what, six or seven dollars. It's well worth it. It lasts a long time. And like I said, I use mine every single day. So highly recommend, but let's go ahead. And I think from here, 
I was trying to decide which shimmer I wanted to play with and I'm really oh god I'm like I'm so invested in this really really light bright one right here but I thought it would be really cool or you know really pretty on the eyes to pair it maybe with like this red one just to add like a pop so I'm gonna take some of that just on my finger some of that red one god that's so beautiful and this one actually feels a little bit more like a almost like a super shock shadow god that's pretty because it has like that um like that bouncy feel to it with my finger so I'm just going to take some of that very lightly, kind of press it all over here. And then for the inner portion of the eye, I'm actually going to go in with the brush that these came with. And I'm going to grab that lighter shade. And I am going to just pack that wall up in this area. Oh, ho, ho. okay. <laughs> we have lift off, my friends. Guys, oh, are you kidding me with this? Okay, yep, inner corner, definitely. Lower lash line, inner corner, absolutely. Let's like blend it everywhere. And then I'm gonna go back in with my finger, I think, and like blend a little bit more of that that burgundy color because I, did, I didn't expect that to go so intensely. Oh my, oh my God, you guys, how beautiful. Oh, you know, it would look really pretty. Look at me, I'm like, I can add more. But, but wait, there's more. Um, I can add onto this, what if I did maybe um, that really dark, maybe this really dark shimmer right here, just like a freckle onto the outer V because it is so creamy and just like a little bit like right here. Because <laughs> why not? Oh God, that's such a good decision too. It's so beautiful. All right, and I'm also gonna add just a little bit of that super bright shade up here onto, um, onto the brow bone, just very gently blend it down. Y'all know me, love a good brow bone. You know what, just because why not? We might as well see how it looks. <laughs> yes, please, ma'am. Um, just, you know, see how it looks over the over the little cheek right here. Just a little teeny bit at the top of the cheekbone. Oh, God, that is such a good decision. I mean, I, I've been known to make some questionable choices in my life, but that was not one of them. Okay, it looks so nice. All right, so let's go ahead from here. Now that, uh, now that we're glowing like a little lightsaber, me with my little Princess Leia buns, and let's go ahead uh, and do... Oh, yeah, the other eye. <laughs> Duh. So I have to do that really quick. I always... I don't know what it is with me. I always forget that I have to do both sides. All right, guys, so I think at this point, the eyes are even. I'm just checking all of my mirrors to make sure because on camera, it's definitely casting that one side is darker, so I'm just trying to make sure they're roughly even but either way you guys get the gist they're on they're beautiful love these colors and let's go ahead at this point and actually set the face you know one final time here and for that we're going to get into this spray this is the makeup mist and set oh wow oh my god <laughs> you guys Woo that pea shooter hold it like seven feet from your face like I'm talking way out here cuz bitch She is aggressive. Oh my god. All right guys So just a little real talk for a second I was looking at my skin up close and I can tell uh, My skin does not really like this spray This is that hydrating coconut mist and I can tell just because obviously I do use these products like the Catrice The elf camo concealer the powders whatever um, I use those a lot and like right up and around in this region on both sides my nose the whole bit it does not look good. It looks very, um, very, uh, like porous, very textured. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to fix it, but I'm going to start off by trying to smooth out that area slightly here with my KKW. This is their nude one brightening powder. And I'm going to take this and just kind of press it up in this area. It's a very, very smoothing product. And so I'm just gonna take this, pop it up under here, run it down along the nose and even a little bit on the nose itself just to try to buff out those pores. Okay, so that helps a lot. It didn't completely take away like the, the issue that I'm noticing um, uh, like all on the nose, but it does help kind of bring the, uh, bring that pore situation down to a manageable level. I'm going to leave that there and press it all together. That, that powder, I really want it to, you know, get, get into the cracks and crevasses. And I'm going to use one that I know works for me. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Mmm much better. So from there, I'm going to go in and actually curl up my lashes. Wait, is it time for this? Oh, yes. Okay, we're going to do lashes and then eyeliner out of that kit. So I'm going to grab this. This is the e.l.f. Uh, yeah, it's just their eyelash curler. I actually do like e.l.f. lash curlers, um, especially for being more affordable. They came out with, this one's not the shape of the new one, but they came out with a new one. I'll link it down below. They sell it by itself. It's like $3. And that is such an amazing affordable lash curler. This one, um, it, it's not bad. It's a little bit more uncomfortable to hold. The other one's just slightly more ergonomic 
economical. And then next up, I'm just going to go in with a couple coats of mascara. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational um, Full Effect Mascara. And this I actually just used over on Instagram. I used it for the first time in that little reel that I did. And I was actually really, really impressed. It had a beautiful look to my lashes. So I'm going to go ahead and build up a couple coats of this. All right. So now that I'm back, mascara's on. We're going to go in with the black eyeliner out of the kit. Ooh, wow. That's actually... It's actually pretty creamy. Nice amount of color. Okay. And I'm going to take this and put it on the upper and lower waterline here. All right, so I lined my lips really quick off of camera with the ColourPop 951 Lip Liner. And then for my last two options here for the glosses out of these kits, we have the e.l.f. Plumping Lip Gloss, which is in the shade Champagne Glam, which is this one right here. Um, on camera, I know you can't really tell a difference between the two, but this one does have more of like a, um, I would say like a light kind of orange sherbet color to it. And you can see in the reflect that it has more of like that golden glitter. And then the other one we have is the e.l.f. Retro Paradise, and this is in the shade A Moment. This is their Dream On lip gloss, and this one actually has, I would say, a smoother texture than the other one, and I'm going in with that one uh, out of the, the Retro Paradise kit because I've never used this formula before, and you guys, it feels amazing. Like, it doesn't have any like stickiness to it whatsoever, whereas the other one, the Plumping Lip Gloss, had more of like that tack. I could feel it when I swatched it, and this one reminds me of like a really high-end lip gloss where it sits um, almost like a combination between a lip gloss and a lip oil. Kind of like um, if you've ever tried Manny's, his obviously Lunar Beauty, it's like one of my favorite glosses because they're very, very thin, very lightweight. You almost can't even tell that you're wearing them. And that is this gloss. It just feels so, God, so nice and so thin on the lips. And even though it does have like those little chunky kind of glitter moments in there, you really can't see them like on the lips as glitter. They just blend in and look really, really nice, really healthy and shiny. God, that's really beautiful. All right, you guys, with that, we are officially done. This is how the full look came together. Um, I am going to go ahead, pop up the up close just really quickly, kind of talk over it just so you guys can get a better view. But I think for me, out of this entire this entire video, the whole collection, whatnot, um, I'm actually really impressed with how everything came together. Again, being that this is more of an affordable, you know, affordable affordable haul of holiday kits. I think that um, the way that they performed, I mean, from, from kit to kit was very consistent, which I appreciate, especially when we get into the eyeshadows, because like I said before, with e.l.f., I've tried them, you know, everything from their quads all the way up to, you know, their full-on palettes, and I have noticed that with some of their formulas, they're really good. Some of them, you know, so, so some of them are lacking, and with this, I, I kind of expected, because the whole kit for all three plus the brush was only $10, I expected it to be maybe a little hit or miss. Like, some of them, could be good. Some of them might be scratchy. And I was just really impressed to find that all three of them were very consistent, super buttery. Pigmentation, performance, all of that was on point, and the brush was also really nice. I think for me, something I really appreciated that was a little bit different in the way that e.l.f. did this, and the reason I gave them kind of their own video for this, was because I really appreciated that they actually gave you multiple kits that, that you know, they spanned kind of the entire face. You had tool kits, you have um, options for face kits, you have bestsellers, you have eyes, you have lips, I think I saw uh, several little lip sets, a uh, uh, lip lip sets on their site. <sighs> I think for me as a consumer, I just really appreciate that. I like it when brands like put put thought into it. You know, they don't just make it just eyeshadow or just mascara, just this. Like they really did spread it around and give you kind of a kit for every for every part of the face, which I thought was cool. You know, again, bestsellers, eyes and whatnot. And I just I really like it. But again, you guys, those are just my thoughts. I want to hear from you down below. Did you like the video? Was it helpful? Do you enjoy videos like this? Um, again, leave it all in the comments. Comments. And while you're down there, you can also let me know um, if you're excited for the videos like this one moving forward for other holiday kits, other holiday collections, because these are some of my favorite to film. I love doing them. I just, every year I get so excited <laughs> to go through and like pick up all the little holiday kits. And uh, yeah, I want to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Of course, like I said, down in the comments. Also, like I said at the start of the video, you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications, follow me on Instagram, which per usual, I would greatly appreciate. And I think that that is everything. You guys, thank you all so, so much for watching. Thank Thank you for sticking with me through another one. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you guys all have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. And by scooch the camera over. I mean, I'm gonna scooch up. Wait, no, I've got some right here. Paige, what are you doing? Get your life together. Oh, oh, oh. It is so dark out today. Oh my God, it's raining all day. So just really quickly, my bra, like there's a wire that's sticking out and it is jamming me in uh, my, my underarm right here. And oh my God, it's so painful.